Hi there, I'd like to show you something neat you can do with Digmore and our digital classroom bundles. So the Digmore icon I've got on the iPads, um, you can click on that or you can go to the school district website and any of the school websites will have a picture of Digmore on them. And click on Digmore again when you get here to get to the e-library of all the different resources. And I scroll down to the magazine sections and I'm going to click on the elementary magazines. These are magazines that are recorded in uh, the EBSCO host database. It's part of our digital classroom bundle. And I'm going to pick uh, Scholastic News 2. We have edition 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The nice thing about Scholastic News is it creates similar articles in each one of the different editions at different reading levels. So if you're grade 3 class, you can look in Scholastic 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and find different um, reading levels for the same similar kind of articles. Sometimes it's the same article. In here, um, now it shows me some details on the left-hand side about the edition. You can scroll down, you can see the description of what this um, magazine's about. On the right hand side, it has all the different years, and when you open the year up, it shows you all the different editions that are there. If you click on that, it'll show you all the articles, but in this video, I want to look at how we can see the subjects for all of these publications. So I'm going to go over to search within this publication. This fills in the journal search. So journal search, Scholastic News Edition 2. You can type in some other things after here, but for this case, I'm just going to hit search. The nice thing this will do, it shows you all the results that it has about that journal. And these results are all listed here. Um, when you see this HTML full text, if you click on that, there's actually a reader available in there. And the PDF full text is a PDF scan version of this, uh, this article in the journal. But I can go over here to the left hand side and depending on your screen you might have to open up this little set of arrows to see the refined resu results search items. And if I scroll down to subject, this will show all the subjects in the journal. And there's the show more button to see all of them. So I'm going to tap on show more. <clears throat> I zoom out so you can see it. And you can scroll through this and look at all the different journal items with their subject. So if you were doing something on penguins, you can select penguins and you will see there's 11 articles that will come up when I hit update, but I can select several things if you want penguins and insects. Um, tap the update button. This will narrow those 950 something results down to ones that just have the subject of penguins on them. So from here again, you have the HTML full text article. There is a reader that will highlight the words and read them out out loud and if I go back there's also the PDF full text you can tap on you can save this as a PDF on your computer use it on a projector or print it um, or if you're on an iPad you can use the share button and save that over to Notability or different programs uh, to save it so that's something 